Welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this class is about kinetic energy and you know my previous class that I already explained about potential energy the equation was uh, EP equal mgh and now this this video I shall be explaining about kinetic energy and as usual the uh, definitions of kinetic energy is in the whiteboard so we can say that the capacity of doing work so as we know that that energy is defined as capacity of doing work so as we are defining kinetic energy so at first we need to say the capacity of doing work that is actually energy acquired acquired by a moving body so in case of understanding the kinetic energy concept we need to know that there should be a motion there should be a velocity and due to this velocity the kinetic energy of a body will be acquired so we can say simply that the capacity of doing work acquired by a moving body due to its motion so when the capacity of doing something is being acquired by its motion or velocity then it's called kinetic energy now we need to think something spatially so if we say that there is a space like okay there is a something uh, in a rest suppose there is a body of mass m is in rest and if it is in rest there is no kinetic energy but if 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 amount of force is being applied into this body and then it moves from here to this point suppose this is a and this is b and it moves s amount of displacement and it acquired the velocity v and this is the final velocity suppose something is pushed and then if amount of force is pushed to the body and then it acquired the velocity after some time so if i say that if if amount of force is applied to this body and then it moves from here to this point and then it acquired the final velocity v and then it it it's the displacement is s what is the kinetic energy the kinetic energy is the, <laughs> this acquired by the work done and how we can find it out that kinetic energy is equals to by work done so it means that the force times displacement and we know that this is from my the previous classes of work that finding the work done is force times the displacement and we know that know that from the the, the concept of force we know that f is equal to ma so we know that as f is equal ma so we say m a s so e k is equal e k is equal m a s but here is one thing when it was in a rest u was zero but if amount of force is being applied and then through this time being and uh, when it was crossing s amount of displacement then final velocity was accurate so from the equations of uh, the law of motion fourth equation we know that v square equal u square plus 2 a s 2 a s as as it was the initial velocity was 0 u equal 0 so we can say that v square equal 2 a s so we also we can say that a s is equal v square by 2 so if if this process we can say that the as is equal to v square by 2 so we know that ek ek is where m m as as is here we say v square by 2 from these equations so this is an equation where we can use this here so we got our equations that ek is equal half half of m v square and this is the equations of kinetic energy ek is equal half m v square and this is the equation so primarily we know that what that the kinetic energy is that energy which is accurate by the motions or by the velocity 
of any object. So from this derivation, what I say that if if amount of force is being applied to any object and then it crosses s amount of displacement occurring v velocity which is final velocity then we know that the kinetic energy is equal to work done so how we can measure work because we know that from the definitions of work this is the cross product of force and displacement and we know from the second law of newton's law of motion that F equal MA, so EK equal MAS and from these equations of law of motion as here is the displacement and also final velocity and it was in the motion so like initial velocity zero so we got the equations EK equal half MV squared and most importantly this is also important that we saw that earlier EK is equal half MV squared and you know that the mass of any object is uh, considerable as a constant so if mass is not changing so we saw that this is uh, actually the constant and also half is constant so we said that ek is proportional to velocity square it means when when m is constant constant so ek is proportional to v square it means what if velocity is double then the kinetic energy is getting four times higher so when the velocity of any object is doubled then the kinetic energy will be four times greater than the previous one this because the kinetic energy is is proportional to square of velocity so when we got like thrice, I mean three times higher, if the velocity is three times higher, velocity is three times higher, I mean triple, then the kinetic energy would be nine times greater than the previous one. So we know that EK equal half mv square in this equations m is constant. And if m is constant, then kinetic energy is depending on the velocity of the body. So if velocity increase, the, the kinetic energy will proportionately increase and it's actually square. So when we increase the velocity four times, then the kinetic energy would be gained 16 times greater than the previous one. So this is very important. So when a question is from your question paper like in an MCQ or even anywhere that how much the velocity and the kinetic energy is being related so that you can see this is square proportion so ek is proportional to v square so we can count the equations and we can derive these equations from this way so you please do it at your own and i can give you some sort of like examples of doing kinetic energy how you can do it? Suppose, suppose a person like, uh, I, I can, I'm decoding from my books that what is the kinetic energy of a car of mass 1000 kilogram moving at a velocity 36 km per hour. Suppose there is a car, suppose this is the car and it's moving 36 km per hour and the mass of car is 1000 kilogram. So if mass is given and also velocity is given, so it's very basically we can find out the kinetic energy which is actually EK equal half mv square. So we know that V is kilometer per hour, but there is important thing that we cannot catch 36 here. We need to convert it into meter per second. So what we do, we do that V is given 36 km per hour and to convert it into meter per second we can simply divide it by 3.6 so 36 divided by 3.6 this is meter per second and this is 10 so we know this is half times 1000 times not 36 it's kilometer per hour it's 10 square 
v square. So we say this is 500 if we divide times 100. So it's 5, 1, 0, 3, 4. So 4, zul. So we can say in case of prefix and scientific notations, there are 5, 4, 0 after the digit 5. So we can say this is 5 times 10 over 4 joule. So the answer is if 1000 kilogram mass of a car is moving 36 km per hour, so the kinetic energy will be acquired by that car is 5 into 10 over 4 joule. We very simply I just I just show you that how to use it again if we if we think a little bit in a different way that suppose if the question is that if a body of mass one kilogram is dropped from a height of 20 meter so 20 meter what would be the kinetic energy just before touching the ground so there is given a mass of one kilogram and it's dropped from height 20 meter so if if think about it if there is a uh, like uh, placed where it's dropping from here so you see there is given h is 20 meter so 20 meter is given and it's dropping from this way and before touching the ground what is the kinetic energy if this is the questions you know that when it travels 20 meter vertically with the help of gravity then there will be a v will be achieved as the initial velocity was zero and 20 meter is crossing so this v will have to have some idea like how you can find it out we know that v square equal u square plus 2gh why i'm doing it because you know that the question is what is the kinetic energy so we know that to find out kinetic energy we need to find out the velocity so m is given suppose one kilogram of a body is given so the question is if one kilogram of a body is dropped from 20 meter height then what is the kinetic energy so if v we need to find out v how this way because here is no time is given only height is given so here we can say that initial velocity was zero so v square equal to gh so we can say that v is root 2 gh so we say 2 equal to 9.8 times 20 so the root over would be like what so i can use my calculator with the root okay 2 times 9.8 times 20 bracket close okay it's 19.8 so we say this is 19.8 meter per second so now i can find out v here so right now i say that okay then ek equal half mv square so we say it was it was saying one kilogram times 19.8 square so now we can say square times 0.5 which is 196 joule so the answer is 196 joule i hope you understand how we can continue this show of um, mathematical problems is given if if this sort of things is given i shall definitely upload some videos on critical mathematical uh, problem solving techniques later on but before it's the primary level those who are studying right now in O level and English version students in like the very primary level I mean just starting this topic to understand or even you started earlier I think you understand the concept that how to think in case of kinetic energy and how to solve uh, if there is any sort of mathematical problem is given so I hope you understand this derivation and you also understand how I explained that to find out how to find out the kinetic energy. So 
take care and definitely I shall uh, be explaining uh, next class which is about the um, preservations of energy and of course uh, there are some mathematical problem solving technique is coming so stay close with me and definitely uh, keep watching these videos and do let me know uh, what is your requirement I definitely try my level best to adjust take care bye